Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a dubstep in the style of Chrome Star, inspired by his tracks Ghost Ship, Coca Cola, Bad Man, and Mind Pattern with J5. The project file samples and presets are available for a small contribution in the description and via my Patreon, which I'd encourage you to check out, also linked in the description. If you're not subscribed, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button, like the video, and you can request future tutorials in the comments. Our BPM is is 140 and we're in the key of F harmonic minor. I don't think Chrome Star uses harmonic minor scales in the tracks I've referenced, but it helped these strings in the project sound menacing, so I've used it here and I'll talk a bit more about that later on. First, we have this 808 style kick drum. Then we have the rest of the drums. Starting with the rim. Then we have the high perks. We have two shakers in a drum rack. These are in a choke group and have been panned. Having a couple of different shakers is an effective way of adding variation to your drums. Then we have two hats. Again, these are in a drum rack and in a choke group, which helps add more variety by cutting one sample when the other plays. Then we have the cowbell. As the fear but above and beyond the fear. Ride. And reverse crash. Patterns appear. This MPC groove is applied to all the MIDI in the drums group on the group there's drum bus eq plus reverb via send day and for this project i'm using this basement preset next we have the bases both made in massive Starting with this square base. We have a square wave taken down by two octaves, which is being rooted to this low pass filter, which has its cutoff modulated by envelope one. I've made sure there's glide applied as Chrome Star uses glide with lots of his bases. And I've also added some classic tube to make the sound feel a bit dirtier. Then we have the FM bass. With both bases, I've used triplet patterns. You can see the triplet grid is already turned on here. And these are inspired by those heard in Ghost Ship and Coca-Cola. Again, for oscillator one, we have a square wave taken down by two octaves and a low pass filter with its cutoff being modulated by envelope one. However, we're using phase modulation here. And after some experimentation with both Serum and Massive, this is what seems to work best for emulating Chrome Star's mid-range bases. Oscillator two is a saw wave, which has been taken down by three octaves in this case. And phase modulation is being applied to oscillator two with the modulation oscillator being taken up by one octave. It's worth experimenting with the waveforms and octaves of all oscillators and the pitch and amount of the modulation oscillator as you can get multiple different bases via a few small tweaks. 
Again, there's Classic Tube in the FX, plus Dimension Expander, and Glide in the Oscillator tab. On the channel, I've boosted the sub. And on the group, we have EQ, Parallel Compression, Chorus, and a utility monitoring the lows as the dimension expander on the FM base adds width and I wanted the subs to be mono. Reverb is applied via A. Then we have the noise effects which is inspired by Ghost Ship. This is made in Serum and I've activated the noise oscillator using the bright white noise. And this is running into a low pass filter with its cutoff modulated by LFO1, which I'm using as a step sequencer. There's drive on the filter and in the FX. There's hyperdimension for width, distortion, and phaser, which adds yet more width. You can hear how the phaser helps add more of a sense of movement. On the channel, there's EQ, plus reverb via Send A. Then we have the choir sounds. Part of the reason I chose harmonic minor is that it has more of these single semitone relationships than a natural minor scale, which is the most dissonant harmonic relationship between two notes, in my opinion. The way I remember how this interval sounds is by thinking of the theme from the movie Jaws. On the channel, there's drum bus, EQ, chorus, echo, plus reverb via A. Finally, we have the speech. First his body relaxes as the fear disappears. But above and beyond this, new patterns appear. I pulled this from a video of a 50 science experiment and I've previously used another part of this speech in my Lofa video. I could have chosen to use a vocal shout as Chrome Star does in Ghost Ship and Batman, but I've gone with a longer speech akin to mine pattern. There's EQ, drum bus and echo on the channel, plus reverb via A. Bear in mind, I did some noise reduction on the speech before bringing it into the project. And that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. First is fun.